Hi, and welcome to Animate and Create. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a human character, but before that, here's a look at our competition. For our competition, we're asking you to create a short animation for our sponsors, the Clean King campaign, around the theme Cleaner, Greener, Safer. For this, we're asking you to produce an animation about the community or environment that you live in. There are lots of great prizes up for grabs, with the winning primary and secondary school receiving animation kits, with signed DVDs for the runners-up. All entries must be uploaded onto Kent TV by the 6th of April 2009 and must be under 30 seconds in length. For full terms and conditions, see kenttv.com. Good luck and get animated. For your model, you'll need some animation wire, some wire cutters, a glue gun, a tape measure, some plasticine, some polystyrene balls, and optionally, you might need some small nuts and bolts. So, the main tool you're gonna to need to make your human character is animation wire. Now, you can order this on the internet and a link to it is in the information pack at kenttv.com. So, to start with, I'm gonna need eight pieces of animation wire between 40 and 50 centimetres. So, once I've got my eight pieces of wire, holding one end of the wire in my right hand tightly, I then start to spin the other end with my left hand, gradually binding the wire together. Once all of the wire is twisted evenly, I'm left with a cord lance. The next stage is to find the centre of the lance, and then mark off a 10cm length, which will form your character's spine. The wire either side of the spine will go on to become your model's arms and legs. So, tightly holding the spine, untwist the areas either side, ready to form the limbs. So I started with eight pieces of wire. So I'm going to separate one, two, three, four pieces of wire for the left leg, then one, two, three, four pieces for the other. The, t the top's the same again, so just making sure I've got my spine there. My, hold the piece which I've just marked out with my little finger and start to unwind. Now, I've got eight pieces of wire, but this time I need a left arm, a right arm and a head. So for the left arm, I'm gonna separate one, two, three. For the right arm, I'm going to separate one, two, three, and I'm going to be left with two for the head. So, just the same as I did at the start of the model, I now have to start coiling the arms around. So hold in with your index finger and your thumb, the kind of neck and shoulder position. Then start twisting your first arm round. And I'm going to start to wind, twist the right arm. And finally, in the top section, I need to do the two pieces for the head holding at the base of the spine in the pelvis region. Just twist one leg. And there's two legs. We're starting to look now more like a stick man. It's really, really important to get the proportions right on your character. So the first thing I always do is find the pelvis. It's just come out I don't know, about a centimetre from the spine. And then you've got the shoulders and the pelvis. Okay, now we're starting to look more like a human being. Next bit on the body we need to find is the elbows and the knees. Kind of just a little bit further down from halfway down your spine. There's one elbow. And there's two elbows. There's one knee. And there's two knees, and then we need to find the wrist. So we find the wrist, and then we loop the excess wire around. And then find the ankles, forming another loop like we did with the wrists, to make the feet. For the next stage, we need to use a hot glue gun, so please ask an adult for help with this. So all we're going to use a glue gun for is to stop certain areas from coming loose. The main areas are the shoulders and the pelvis. So all I'm going to do is drop glue along the pelvis region and also along the shoulder. 
So while that armature is actually gluing, I'm just going to show you an armature that I did a little bit earlier, just to show the areas which have been glued. As you can see, I've encased the shoulder area on the front and the back, just completely covering the wire in glue gun. I've also added it right the way across the back of the pelvis and the front, encasing it again, so that spine's really nice and tight now and won't lose its shape. I've also added tiny bits onto the wrists and the ankles, just so the wire there, which I wrapped around the limbs, isn't tempted to come loose. For my model, I've glued a nut into each of the feet. This will help me attach the model to a base when animating. The nut along with a bolt and a wing nut will form a tie down system, which will lock my character down supporting him. This is a little more advanced and designed at those of you with dedicated animation setups. Most of you will be working on tabletops, so just make sure your character supports themselves by having chunky legs and big feet. So now my armature is ready, all I need to start doing is adding the plasticine now and bringing this character to life. Um, but before I start that, I'm actually just going to cut this long piece of wire, which will form the neck. And then I'm going to stick the head into position, like so. And then he really is ready to have the plasticine added. Always start by adding the darker base colours first. I'm using blue for the jeans, then green for the t-shirt, before finally adding the light skin colour tone onto the armature. Next, I remove the head and wrap it in skin coloured plasticine, before sculpting the features. Finally, using polystyrene balls, I add the eyes and also add black plasticine for the hair. So here's my final human character, which you'll see animated in the show. Why don't you try it yourself and then upload it onto kenttv.com. <coughs> this has been the last in the present series of Animate and Create. I really hope you've enjoyed the show, as I really believe that animation can make a real difference in schools. Please go and check out the info pack at kenttv.com and also check out what other schools are producing and upload your own work. Good luck with the competition and go get animated. <laughs>